Hospital workers at North York General are raising their voices to protest what they call the inequality of the province's pandemic pay. So many frontline staff have been left out and they are demanding the Ford government amend the list. A big show of solidarity as healthcare workers, both on and off the province's pandemic list, gather on the lawn outside North York General Hospital, standing together in the face of division. We want to make sure that everybody here feels valued. Chanting and holding signs, they are here to send a loud and clear message to the Ford government. We want Ford to know that he can't make these grand decisions without the proper planning. The province introduced pandemic pay in April to reward frontline workers with a $4 an hour pay bump. But the program has been marred by controversy after some hospital workers were excluded from the pay, like lab technicians, physiotherapists and occupational therapists who work closely with COVID-19 patients. We are right in there with them, just like nurses. We're helping them transfer in and out of bed. We take them to the bathroom. It's not about the money. It's about the fact that we were left off, where we feel undervalued. People who are standing right next to me treating the same patient are getting this pandemic pay, and it makes absolutely no sense. Rather than feeling united in the face of the pandemic, they say they feel divided and demoralized. They have created a two-tier system where there are people that are worth a certain amount of money and those that are not. It's disheartening and I think it, it, um, it's bad for morale on the unit. On June 1st, we asked the province why so many healthcare workers have been left behind. If we missed people, uh, that wasn't by uh, done deliberately. But in the two weeks since then, the list hasn't been amended and staff are fed up. They had ample time to get it right. He can't forget people like that. And he can't just say that it was unintended. If you make a mistake, you acknowledge it and you fix it. We did ask the Ford government for an updated response to this issue. Here's what they wrote to us in a statement. As Premier Ford has said, we wish we could provide pandemic pay to every single frontline worker who has contributed to the fight against COVID-19. Unfortunately, there is a limit to the amount of funding provided by the federal government through our shared agreement, and we are not able to expand the pandemic pay program beyond the over 375,000 employees already deemed eligible. For City News, I'm Tina Yazdani.